so right now I have a huge problem I use this for my daily drive um, it's what I use um, in my day-to-day -day, um, work and uh, I can't use it today yesterday I had a, a tire puncture which I can't find and uh, let's try to remedy this one uh, we'll try to fix it so uh, I think this is the first uh, video that uh, you can see of how to fix a uh, Mikey Mark 8 uh, how to remove and reinstall uh, the tire and of course um, let's try to get the inner tube uh, uh, vulcanized yeah let's get on with it so for the tools I've got all these lined up um, you may be wondering about this one um, this is to heat up uh, the Loctite the factory Loctite that, uh, that was placed on, on these uh, uh, nuts so let's try to do, uh, uh, heat them up and uh, loosen them up Of course, we have to push the wire down away from it. We don't want that burnt. I take about a minute. works out well so as you can see the lock pipe you have to heat it up so that you can remove it and we'll move the other one yeah, it's easy Oh yeah, if you're wondering about this one, this is old, uh, maybe 20 years old or more. Uh, this is my dad's, like, I don't think this is my dad's, um, I think this is my grandpa's. Ooh, still pretty. one clean the nut and that's it that works okay next we have to go to the other side again heat it up for about a minute Uh, it would have been ideal if we use a heat gun. I don't have a heat gun, so I'll just heat it up for a bit. Don't let the flame close to this one here. That's the hub motor.
Okay, you just have to move this small uh, sort of a lock for the motor and the hub including this one so both at each end and uh, push it out so remember as this is an electric motor it has it still has wirings in it so you have to be careful and this is still heavy by itself it is heavy ah. I forgot this one here this part so we have to separate this from this and to do that, there are um, Allen screws inside. We have to use uh, an Allen screw. After this, it becomes a little bit loose, so it's easy to pry, pry off. You have to have a bit of leverage. So, a bike tool works. Part of the hub cleared, clean it up. That's it. All right, clean it up first. It's hard to clean when, yeah, yeah, it's not disassembled. So this is a good time to clean it.
Now, remove the inner cube. Looks like it doesn't have any damages. Okay, so I just got back from uh, a vulcanizing shop. Yeah, about my uh, about 80 meters from here. So I got it fixed. Um, the problem is there's a hole somewhere, and uh, I was able to have it vulcanized. So this is the interior part, and uh, yeah. So that's as you can see. That's basically how. Um, I had to fix it, um, get it uh, vulcanized, and uh, let's try to fit it again. Hopefully I won't have any problems. The interior tires, uh, the interior, uh, the inner tubes would then be pinched by the mechanisms of the hub. And I have to deflate it again. Okay, before um, putting back the tire, I have to clean it because it's really dirty and it's hard to clean it in the inside if it's attached. So let's just uh, go through this. Okay, that's all done. Of course, cleaned. Uh, Let's put it back together. Now, this will work as a lock, so we're going to put it in. That is, that should be the right there. And this one here. Okay. Yeah, this
I just chuck the brakes, it works. Now. Let's put this back in. But before that, um, I'm, I'm gonna have to put in some uh, lock tight. Okay, so a Loctite is um, an, a, an iodizer. It tightens the bolt a bit um, by oxidization. And uh, I'll make sure that you won't get an accident uh, because the problems with these things is that uh, during vibration, a thing will fall off. tires, um, inner tube, and uh, let's check it out if it works. Okay, I set it for uh, 40 PSI um, because um, I feel more comfortable with 40 PSI and uh, let's see how it works. Okay, it says 41, but it, uh, if you remove this, uh, it, it lets out a bit of air. That means that it goes back to 40 PSI. Okay. How it works. Okay, so I guess this was it. I was able to fix the rear tire, um, remove it, reinstall it again, uh, put uh, back 
the tire hugger but a uh, good thing is I also able to have it uh, have the inner tube uh, vulcanized and uh, it's I think it will run smoothly um, I haven't placed a, um, a slime on it yet I will um, because I do have the slime I wasn't able to purchase the uh, tire valve removal and uh, that's important so um, yeah, until the next vlog, please subscribe. Um, it will really help the channel. Um, not just working on the Mikey, but uh, you know, uh, on the rides on uh, any type of electric uh, vehicle that we will be um, getting. And uh, hopefully, um, this is by the way in Kaliba plan. And uh, I'm not the only one who has an electric uh, kick scooter here. Um, there are a few people, but not as big as the Mikey, which is a beast. Um, yeah, uh, see you in the next vlog. Please subscribe. It will really help the channel. Uh, help me out uh, in reaching the 1,000 subscribers that's needed. Um, we'll bring you more. See you next time.